welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. I've got a full roll of 2015s right there that I'm going to open up. And we're going to see if, I kind of don't want to open it, but we're going to open it. See if we have any DDOs. It's not doing me any good just sitting around here. We're going to hunt for a DDO, even a DDR. I'll put you on the tripod. Let's see if we can't find something. Fingers crossed. 2015 has a really cool one. So maybe we'll get lucky. See if we uh, find a nice DDO. Let me tear this open, and I'll get you set up on the tripod. Be right back. All right, let's, uh, let's tear it open. Maybe we'll get lucky. I used to find them all the time in hunts. So they did hit the area. I just don't know. All right, here we go. BU 2015s. Let me uh, stop this. I'll ang angle the camera up at the laptop here, the monitor, and we'll get going on this hunt. Be right back. All right, let's go. Hopefully, we come across something cool. It could be a little thicker. Nothing on the initials. Next. <clears throat> no. Nope. There is a cool die clash on the 2015 as well. Nice, heavy die clash, strong die clash. Nothing yet here. No. So I do have a <clears throat> subscriber, goes by the name of Cool Dude. He enjoys the scent hunts or penny hunts. And I try to find DDOs in the shield scents for him. It's been a, it's been a tough go recently. I'm not really finding much of anything in terms of DDOs for the shield scents anymore. <clears throat> it's like they've been picked through. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like searching the shield sense? There's a lot of varieties to find in the shield sense. But a lot of people don't like them. I'm not a big fan of the design. But I do enjoy hunting them for the varieties. And some of the DDOs are really cool looking. And 2015 is one of those. It has a really nice DDO. Just not, uh, not finding it this time around. It may be in here. But. Could be unlikely. I mean, we might find something. Should be awesome. Clash die, strike through. Off center, a misaligned die. DDR. So a whole bunch of stuff to look for. Not yet.
Come on. And I have a ton of penny rolls, cent rolls. I have almost a full box of 2017 Phillies. I have almost a full box of 2018s. But I'm really hoping to find the strike through on the reverse for the 2018s. That would be awesome. Again, probably unlikely, but it would still be awesome. I don't see anything there. That eye just looks weird. It looks doubled. Insert reflection. But it's not okay. Nothing there. Nope. And you start to go through like a third of the roll. You probably, probably won't find anything. There are rolls with one of something in there. <clears throat> so don't give up hope. Not seeing it. Nothing there. Some die cracking on the top of the shield. They use those for die markers. It seems pretty common. Not seeing anything there. That's like a third of the roll done. I have three piles here. <clears throat> Not seeing anything there. Coins are in nice shape though. I could hold them aside, but I'm probably not gonna. Not at this point. No. no. <clears throat> no. Again, if I'm going too fast, let me know. I just I try to go quick because the video will be really long if I go slow. There's 50 coins in a roll and even if I go 30 seconds per coin we're looking at um, 25 minutes for a video. I'm trying not to do that but if we come across something and you have to talk about it a little bit, it might happen. But I keep seeing that die crack on the shield. So a lot of the same dies, which is obviously common. You're going to get a lot of the same dies in the roll. That one's different. Oh. It's the one with the scratches on the obverse. So we have seen this die before. Oh. Come on. The 2015 is so cool. Not seeing anything here. Nope. Nope. 
one of the scratches on it. Already at eight minutes. Nope. Actually closer to nine minutes. Not seeing anything here. Little die chip in this head right here. Almost done with the second pile. There are times when you find like a cool die crack on the back or on the obverse. It's more so on the reverse, kind of by the ribbon and the shield, like in these areas here, you get some die cracks. All right, nothing there. That was pile number two. Pile three. Negative. I feel like I'm on copper coins going through penny rolls, looking for varieties. I think it's uh, Chuck Daughtry, usually. He takes a lot longer looking at every aspect of the coin. Um, again, I'm just trying to go through fairly quickly. Looking for mainly double dies on this. I mean, if there was a die crack or a, there's a chip in his hairline right here. Um, something significant that stood out. I would obviously stop and talk about it. <clears throat> but that has not happened yet. And the die with the scratches on the obverse. Nothing. Uh, that was cool. Could have been like a start of a strike through, maybe. Or just a weakly struck planchet. Who knows? Not a. Gets maybe like ten coins left. I'm not seeing anything. Negative. One of these rolls that I open up will find something cool. It will happen at one point. I have a lot of rolls to open. Spontaneously or sporadically. And one day. It'll happen. We'll find something cool. It doesn't seem like it's going to be today. Tie chip in the head. 
Not today, ladies and gentlemen. Three coins left. Negative. Negative. No. No. Last coin. Not a beans. All right. Well, not this time. But I hope you enjoyed that hunt. Again, if you think I went too fast, let me know down in the comments. I could slow it down the next time. But we're at uh, 14, almost 15 minutes, going through a roll that had nothing in it. So I don't want to uh, make it be too long of a video. But if you made it all the way through, I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, if you're just watching for the first time or a couple times and you're not subscribed and you're thinking about subscribing, go ahead and do it. Hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. Tap that like button. I'll see you on the next one.